Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. Today is Friday, the 29th day of July. Today is, believe it or not, we're almost to the end of the month, and today is National Chicken Wing Day, National Lasagna Day, National Lipstick Day, National Talk in an Elevator Day, National System Administrator Appreciation Day, and National Get Gnarly Day. Gnarly. Oh, it's a good day to get gnarly, I would say. Also, I've got a guest joining me on the program. I talked to him a couple years ago. Dan Abrams is his name. He's got several books out. Uh, he's on a bunch of different TV shows. Chief Legal Analyst for a- uh, ABC News. Host of the Dan Abrams, Abrams Live on News Nation. Bunch of best-selling books. Lincoln's Last Trial. John Adams Under Fire. All of those things. And... He's got a new show on Reels. It just launched one week ago today. It's called On Patrol Live. It'll be back on again tonight as well. Uh, We're going to chat with him all about that coming up in just a bit. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left. So how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points, and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. In the course of her life, Heidi, the average woman will embark upon twice as many diets as relationships, according to a new survey. Sponsored by who else? Well, a diet supplement company. Published by the Daily Mail. The average survey participant attempted 16 diets in their lives and had eight partners in their life. We can only assume that the typical human female is going to have an on-again, off-again thing with Atkins and Jenny Craig and Weight Watchers and all of these other things before settling down with something like maybe a Mediterranean or a, a paleo. So uh, I do have a link if you want to read all of the details in this study. How does that sound to you? Do you think you've had quite a few... Diets in your life? <laughs> I have had quite a few diets in my life. <laughs> Me too. And uh, I'm not even feeling They're more of a long-term relationship, actually. It's, yeah, some uh, of them. Yeah, we've yeah. been, some of these we've been doing a while. <laughs> Haven't been doing very well, but we've been, <laughs> been doing them a while. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at DrinkBlitzEnergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. DrinkBlitzEnergy.com. Com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Did you know? Brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com. Heidi, did you know bioengineers at University of Texas Austin have engineered a new type of mattress that tricks the body into falling asleep faster? <gasps> How cool is that? Well, that's cool. Body temperature influences how we wake or yep. sleep when we feel any given or how we feel at any given moment. For instance, it's healthier to sleep in the evening as body temperatures decline. So researchers on the team developed an innovative mattress and pillow system that uses both heating and cooling to send messages to your body that it is time to sleep. They say the new mattress successfully triggers sleepiness, shortening the time it takes to fall asleep, and it improves overall sleep quality. Nice. So, Heidi has a system of her own. It involves a <laughs> ceiling fan and a giant fan next to the bed and a window open no matter how cold it is outside. So that's her system. And it works. It does work for her. Not so much for me. All right. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Kylie Jenner came under fire last week for posting about her private jet. She shared a picture of herself and her boyfriend, Travis Scott, hugging between two airplanes, Heidi, with the caption, Do you want to take mine or yours? Oh, good Lord. That led critics to dig deeper into Jenner's flight habits. Now, many are condemning her, along with other wealthy travelers. Her private jet named Kylie Air, which is kind of a good name is decked out with luxuries and amenities, according to the report. Planes like these create 5 to 14 times more pollution than commercial airplanes. Mm -hmm. In the current economic climate, many followers thought it was tasteless for Jenner to brag about her jet. 
And with the environmental crisis worsening, many also thought it was horrifying to see her using a plane of her own rather than just, you know, flying commercial, apparently. And the Twitter sphere, uh, the Twitter account for celeb jets, uh, looked into her flight history. They found that many of her flights are around 15 minutes long, and one recent flight was just three minutes long, covering a distance that would have taken her about 40 minutes by car. A three-minute flight? That seems bizarre. Yeah. All right. Big screen, little screen. Brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Plan. Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. Um Ernest Hemingway, you know who that is, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Author? Are you a, a Hemingway reader at all? No. You, 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 so it's not that you don't like Hemingway, you've just never read any of his books. Right. Same here. Uh, so uh, there's an attorney who recently won the Ernest Hemingway contest, which is a Key West tradition. So some people came in wool fisherman sweaters. Other contestants had sportsman's attire. But it was a cream-colored sweater, Heidi, of the attorney by the name of John Alville that caught the eye of judges who awarded him the title of most resembling author and former Key West resident Ernest Hemingway. This attorney triumphed Saturday of last week. Uh, over 124 other contestants for the title in this annual Hemingway Lookalike Contest. It's at a place called Sloppy Joe's Bar in oh, Key funny. West. And I guess that's where the author was a regular patron during his decade-long residence on the island in the 1930s, which is kind of cool. So the Lookalike Contest is a highlight of the Key West annual Hemingway Days celebration. It wrapped up over the weekend last weekend. Uh, Alville said that he shares Hemingway's passion for fishing. He has written some fiction himself as well, and he would like to do more writing. It says every man wants to write like Hemingway. He lives in uh, Dade County, I'm sorry, Dade City, Florida, northeast of Tampa. While living in Key West, Hemingway wrote classic novels like For Whom the Bell Tolls and To Have and Have Not. So there you go. Uh, as I was reading that, it made me think of uh, uh, something that Heidi would probably be able to tell you about a lookalike contest. Remember the the report you did in school? Yes, I do. And what was that little tidbit that you knew? Charlie Chaplin once entered his own lookalike contest and lost. Yeah. So he didn't look alike himself. <laughs> How weird is that? Yeah. All right. Thanks for listening to the Scoop of the Day. It comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on this Friday. We've got a guest joining us today, Dan Abrams. Now, he hosted the hit show Live PD. They followed police officers throughout their patrols live in real time. The long-running show was the most watched series on A&E and was frequently the number one rated show on cable. Well, now Dan is back with a new series, On Patrol Live. It actually premiered a week ago on Reels. On Patrol Live reunites Dan with his co-host from the other program, Sergeant Sean Sticks Larkin, and it documents live and real-time everyday work of police officers on patrol all across America. We've got on the line right now Mr. Dan Abrams. How are you, sir? I'm great. You know, I thought I was getting John and Heidi. I'm only getting John. But you know what? It'll have to suffice. And sadly, she's the better half. But here I am. I'm I'm doing what I can. So uh, let's let's ch- uh, chat a little bit here about On Patrol Live. Tell me a little bit about this program on Reels. So this is a show where we cover police departments live in real time, eight departments at once, and we bounce between them depending on what's happening. And it really gives you a a unique view of uh, what it's like to be a police officer. 
in America. Now, the program just launched officially last Friday, so one week ago today. And if people had a chance to watch that, maybe fell in love with it, they get to tune in on a regular basis and watch this on the Reels Network. Is it on tonight as well? Is that right? Every Friday on Reels? It will be every Friday and Saturday night from 9 to midnight on Reels. Yep. I love that. And now, how did you choose which police departments to go and follow for this? Is that something they submitted saying, I want to be a part of it, or did you guys reach out to them? It was a combination of both. And we wanted to find a mix of departments, right? So on the one hand, we've got a a city department in Patterson, New Jersey, um, and then we've got um, Nye County, Nevada, um, which is a, 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 a very different kind of department. Um, so the idea is eight departments, different places in the country, different kinds of police work to show people um, the kind of diversity of, uh, of policing in America. And bigger cities and smaller towns, the police departments deal with completely different things, don't they? Correct. Um, and, um, and, and look, and even, you know, like they're probably going to be down the road, maybe we'll be following some state troopers, right, which is also different from what a sheriff's department would do versus a big city police department, et cetera. So, yeah, absolutely different kinds of work amongst the different departments. And, again, On Patrol Live on Reels. And if people would like to find you guys online, is there a place to find, like, follow you on social media as well? Um, well, yeah, I mean, they can they can certainly follow uh, me at Ask Dan Abrams um, on uh, Twitter and Instagram, et cetera. But the, um, the show, the official handle of the show is at official... Uh, OP Live. So for OP, for On Patrol um, Live is uh, on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Now, you and I have had a chance to talk in the past, but it was about some of the books that you put out because you got many best selling books as well. And you're known for the television program that we talked about. But let's talk about your background because it's pretty fascinating. Well, you know, look, I've been a, a legal analyst and a lawyer uh, for a long time, um, having been the you know, the chief legal correspondent for NBC News and now at ABC News. Um, and so I have always uh, covered courtrooms around America. And part of that is covering policing. And so for me, this was a sort of a natural progression to be able to police doing what they do. So if you were to have said to me before I started covering live police, um, you know, what's an area where you'd like to know a little bit more, I would have said, you know, I, I probably should go on a lot more ride along to be able to see what police are doing. Yeah. Well, that's what I get to do every night now uh, on, on, on patrol lot is I'm there for, you know, three hours each night for ride along. And I think it, it, it definitely helps inform my view in covering law enforcement. I love that. That is fantastic. Again, it's called On Patrol Live. It's available on Reels. It's a brand new series. And Dan, we appreciate you taking some time to chat with us about it today. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Again, our guest today has been Dan Abrams. He is the host of a program on Reels. It's called On Patrol Live. You might remember him from some of his other programs. He's done a lot of cool stuff uh, on AD and and uh, also a chief legal analyst for ABC News and multiple best-selling books, and again, his new program on Reels is called On Patrol Live. You can see it on Friday nights and Saturday nights, so you can check it out tonight and tomorrow. All of the details in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What can I say that I haven't already said about bettercreditcards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At bettercreditcards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Speed dating was invented by a rabbi. That's kind of cool. Oh. So, yeah, a rabbi said, you know what we should do? We should do some dating, but we should do it really quick. Chop, chop. Here we go. Okay. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Boar, uh, I'm sorry, boys. <laughs> I can't speak over here. Boys are more likely to be left-handed than girls are. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I wonder why that is. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Riding a roller coaster could help you pass a kidney stone. So oh. if you ever have a kidney stone, maybe- I like roller coasters. Yeah. And I've got one- 
final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Ironically, the most commonly misused word in the English language is, what do you think? The. No, ironic. <laughs> Ironically, Not, uh, the most commonly misused word in the English oh, language. Oh, misused. Yeah. I thought you said the most commonly used. No, the most commonly misused word okay. in the English language I was is. Say, there's no way. Ironic. But okay, I Isn't that. it ironic? Huh. Don't you think? Huh. Thanks for listening. Uh, oh, by the way, now you know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free free shipping on any canister drinkblitzenergy.com promo code radio 20 that's drinkblitzenergy.com time now for the mint mobile question of the day yay, yay! it's brought to you by mintervention.com and your question today heidi in a typical year around 450,000 americans finish one of these 450,000 americans finish one of these what do you think it is I don't know. A marathon. Ah. Yeah. It doesn't say how many start a marathon, but that's how many finish. 450,000 Americans finish a marathon in a typical year. That's your Mint Mobile question of the day. Comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. And I've got not one but two stories for you today, Heidi. Okay. A couple of shorter stories. That's why I decided I'll give you two. Two for the price of one. All right? All right. Where do you want to start? China or Germany? Germany. All right. Here we go. A man in Germany was mugged and he got mugged two more times while waiting for police to arrive. How crazy is that? Yikes. So he got mugged, called the police. While he was waiting for them to get there, he got mugged not once more, but twice more. What could there have possibly been Nothing. left to take? Like, uh, give me everything. Dude, I already gave it all to the right. other guy. Right. So, you know what? That's what you could say to everybody. Dude, I just got mugged. Right. I got nothing to give you. Wow. They'd be like, oh, sorry about your night. Here, here, take some money. I think I'd be looking at moving. (laughs) I probably would too. And now to China. A burglar in China broke into a restaurant carrying off more than 33 pounds of pig's ears and pig's tails and about 75 pounds of cooking oil. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff. I wonder what they were going to do with that. Maybe have a party or something. I don't know. (laughs) A really weird party. It's brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for The List, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. These are rejected anniversary cards. By the way, I want to let you know, I'm sure none of these are accurate. (laughs) I get this stuff sent to me, and uh, I'm pretty sure none of these were really rejected. But, you know, it's it's supposed to be funny. So just remember to laugh, Heidi. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'll point at you when it's time to laugh. Here we go. Okay. Rejected anniversary cards to another year of not finding anyone better. Oh, wow. (laughs) That's that's horrible. Uh, You're 40. Months behind your child support payments. <laughs> oh. Uh, here's another rejected anniversary card. You're the best starter husband a girl could wish for. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, happy got drunk in Vegas and did something stupid day. <laughs> oh, wow. these are not nice anniversary cards. I really thought you'd be dead by now. Oh, oh man. Geez. Rejected anniversary cards on the list here. I love you. By the way, that dress does make you look fat. Oh, oh boy. yeah. Don't do Bad that. Bad idea. We're such a great match. I'd like to travel and you like to get around. Ooh. Oh, and uh, the final one I'm going to read, we need to talk. There you go. There's some Yikes. more on the list in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. David Lee Roth is the one who said this from uh, for a while there. He was with the band uh, Van Halen. Yes, and he was. Then he was on his own. Amazing. But here's band. what he says. 
Money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you a yacht big enough to pull up right alongside it. Oh, I see. (laughs) Right up alongside happiness. Money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you a big yacht big enough to pull right up alongside it. There you go. It's your quote of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. Time now for some good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. I, I like this story. I, we actually talked about this last week, or maybe it was even earlier this week. 25-year-old runs into a burning home and saves five kids. Remember that? Yes. Here's the rest of the story. Gets rewarded with a $500,000 reward. What? And a new lease on life. Holy so, cow. So, yeah, we mentioned this. Nick Bostic was the kid's yeah. name. Uh, a man is being honored by a city as a hero after he charged into a home that had turned into a raging inferno to rescue a young girl. So here's the interesting thing. I didn't know this part. A late night argument with his girlfriend had a disgruntled 25-year-old, Nicholas Bostic, out driving around aimlessly in his town, and he saw a home completely engulfed oh in flames. Gosh. He ran inside. His cries allegedly woke four children and a family friend from their sleep. The oldest of five, 18-year-old Sirona Barrett, had gathered together with her siblings to prepare to go down the stairs from the second floor. That's when they encountered Nick. Once outside, that's when she said, hey, I've got a six-year-old sister that's not out here. Oh, my god! Nick ran back through the door. He described the fire uh, in the home uh, as a black lagoon of smoke on the ground floor. But after checking all of the bedrooms on the second floor, he still had not found the youngster. Oh so my gosh. the good news is he did eventually find the youngster and uh, made it to safety. I just think that is such a cool story. I've got a link if you'd like to read the whole thing. But how crazy is that? That's so, like That's I said, we, we read the story. We were so, impressed. So, who's giving him the... Do they do a GoFundMe? Or? Um, I think it's actually from... I don't know. Let me... I'll click on here. I just closed it, so... Oh, uh, sorry. No, 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 that's all right. I, I uh, see if it says who... Yeah, it was a GoFundMe. So, they set up a GoFundMe. So some other folks did, and uh, they had That's a goal awesome. of $100,000. They wanted to make sure that all of his medical bills and everything were taken care of. That's fantastic. And it turned into over half a million by the time it was done. Yep. City plans to honor him at the next uh, minor league baseball team as well. So, very, very cool. I love that story. I've got a link to it, all the details, and the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show.